Ahoy there and welcome to this Pirate's Parlay. Today's game unboxing comes to us from many years ago, but it's still worth a look. Pieces of Eight, published by Atlas Games. Let's have a look at the contents, shall we? So this game came out in 2006, which by my reckoning was quite a while back. Let's take a look and show you what we already know to be inside, because honestly, we play this game, maybe not a lot, but a little, at least once a year. So it comes with a pouch. Oh, and by the way, this is the Cursed Blade. There are actually two. The other is the Maiden's Vengeance, but one at a time. So each comes with a pouch. It's nothing special, but it, it holds your coins. And a rules sheet. So I'm gonna need for a refresher because that every year thing, well, it hasn't happened yet this year. Gives you the basic breakdown. This game is not complicated. So what you really just need is a cheat sheet, which is what this is good for. All right, beyond that, these be your coins. This be the Cursed Blade coins anyway. All of that for these. So here's what we've got. And I'll look these up to make sure I'm saying them right. Okay, this guy is Pillage. And this helps you to destroy an open coin belonging to any other player and play it in the after your own ship so you steal things. But it's pillaging, you would. A bomb. This is all about destroying another person's ship. So you need weapons, lots of weapons. Broadside. This is another one of those that's just gonna put holes in boats. The monkey. We hate this little thing. Cause you have to go looking for it. Cause once it activates, it's impossible to get rid of. Very difficult to get around as well. Uh, the black spot. What pirate story could be told through gaming without somebody getting the black spot? A bomb. And your captain. This one has the he captain. Gold, so you can spot it in the pile. Because you're gonna stack these things up into a pile of coins. So this one has to stand out from the side. So you know where it is. Cutlass. These attack the front of the ship. Cutlass, what he said. Ah, pistols. I do believe these attack the rear of the ship. Let's just find those there. Pistols, aft coin. We'll say aft from now on. Got to be proper. All right, keg o rum. What is it? Nope, barrel of grog. That was close. Uh, destroy this coin to remove one coin of your choice from your hold and make it your aft coin. So something you already spent gets to come back into the fray. Isn't that valuable? Get double use out of a coin. These coins are very much like cards. This could have just been a card game, but instead it's uh, coins. Treachery. This is one of those, oh no you don't, coins that you play when you don't like the actions of another player. Your mates. These do cool things, we don't want to get too much into it here, but they work with some of your weapons. They can attack by themselves and discard, or you can use them to use a weapon and still keep it. Eat your cake and have it. Yet another mate. And there's a number on him, five, that says that you can have five of him in your ship, that's the max. That's deck building, like an actual deck. More pistols and another mate. All right, so those are the coins in the Cursed Blade. Now, let's take a look at the Maiden's Vengeance. Whoop. I just love the clink and clatter of coins, don't you? Of course you do. Blip. All right, Pieces of Eight, The Maiden's Vengeance. Pirate battles on the high seas. Let's not read this, but it's got a lot to say about itself. Who cares? Let's look at coins. Another pouch. More coins. Another rule book. Exactly like the first. All right, and here's what comes in this pack. Ah, booty. All right, cannon. And these attack straight up the middle, as I recall. She-captain. So you're gonna want a lot of these 
Each player is going to need one. They are not optional. Pillage! We remember you. Yes, steal stuff. Hence the pillaging name. Cannons. Put these together, and actually not only can they attack into the fore of an enemy ship, but if you put a couple together, they'll destroy a couple coins in a row. They're pretty cool. More pillaging. Treachery. This is that cancel something that you don't like. Mate. You're going to need a lot, especially if you want all five, and you might. Mate. Cannon. And you can have up to three of these. And I do believe I've counted three so far. Full sail. Now this one, we haven't got a lot of experience with. Buried treasure. This is another one that brings things back. Handy. Cutlass for attacking the four. Bomb for attacking the four, and I believe the crow's nest. But we'll have to teach you the game for that to make a lot of sense. Pistols for attacking the aft. What a pain in the aft! Broadside. These are really cool, but you can only have one. Uh, and this one is the bell. What do they call that again? Call to quarters. Take a random coin from your hold, add it back to your deck. So, yeah, this is a good way to bring coins back, so you're going to want that. All right, so between Maiden's Vengeance and Cursed Blade, this and those and these, come here, you. <laughs> these be your pile of coins. And trust me, this alone is going to make you happy, regardless of what you think of the game. You can use them in another game. But something tells me you're going to like this game. We do. So, pieces of eight, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching this Pirates Parlay unboxing. And uh, see you next time. I'm going to go count my coins.